Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Um, I almost was going to do a 24 by 24 this evening and I realized that I had this um, wood board, cradle board, um, just hanging around. It was hiding from me. And today I got a bunch of Amsterdam expert, I'll turn them around so you can see, um, colors in. And I don't know which ones to use. So I mixed them all up and I'm just gonna kind of wing it and see how it goes. Um, I've got them all, whoops, making a mess over here. Got them all over there. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, they're all mixed up, ready to go. And I've, I've gone back to my deco art I know I keep going back and forth, guys. I just, I'm learning like you guys are, so I'm just trying new things out all the time. And um, I think the deco art worked for me initially, so I'm going back to that. And this is, um, I'll leave the recipe in the description. I always leave the recipes in the description. And obviously some of those pours that I've done um, don't react as well, like the one I did last night, actually. As a matter of fact, I have the dried result oh, right here. It's big. It's all dry. I didn't get a lot of cells, but that's because um, the size of it, for one, some of the paints were um, not opaque. They were transparent. And the other thing was I ch had changed my recipe. So I'm going back to the decor and see how that goes. By the way, I really like this painting. And <laughs> I'll let you know that one painting that I did where the, um, the canvas broke away from the frame, it, I called um, Michael's today and they are sending me a six pack out of 24 by 24s. So they have a really good customer service. So I'm just gonna flood my canvas here, my board. I didn't prep it. I don't, I can't remember if I prepped the last one or not, but I'm just gonna go ahead with this. This is a nine ounce cup. It wasn't quite full. And I, like I said, I have no plan. So got my cat cans, cat food cans underneath. I'm gonna actually pour this back into the cup as much as I can. Well, that didn't work out too well. And yeah, that did not work out at all. <laughs> okay, we want it really thin on the canvas. And I'll find out tomorrow if I had prepped my previous one. I taped the sides and the bottoms um, in one full swoop. It was really easy, very, very easy. So the sides will not necessarily, they don't have to be covered. This is a new one that I just got in. Now this one is semi-transparent or is transparent? So what I did was I added some anthraconome blue from Golden's to make it uh, a little bit. So yeah, this is, um, I don't know what that means. It does, it's got a, I think it's semi-transparent right there. This is Indigo by Expert Series. So I'm gonna use that. I wasn't gonna paint tonight. I mean, I was gonna go to bed, but I'm like, nope, I wanna paint. So um, let me get my sticks out of here first. The other colors I have are, and I don't know which ones I'm gonna use yet. This is turquoise, this is an opaque. See that little square that's colored in. I also have mauve, which is opaque. I have, this is permanent violet, permanent blue violet opaque. 
So they've made this opaque. And I have turquoise green, and I don't think I'm gonna use that one tonight. So let's just start. Hmm. I always put too much paint on, I'm trying not to. Well, it's starting to react already, so that's good. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of the champagne. And yeah, there's, there's still, there's a lot of paint on there. <laughs> I'm gonna try the mauve. The move. We call it move. In Canada, we call it move. And do I want to put any more color down? Just a teensy bit of green. Green tends to take over, so I don't like to put too much of it in. All right, here we go. Stretch a roo. The other day, I did not follow the weight of the paint. And that was part of my problem, why I didn't get the cells, because I overstretched it in some areas. Now I've got too much champagne going on here. I wonder, eh. Ooh, I'm really liking that indigo. Wow, this is really watery. It is reacting. Good. I want some more indigo on there. I'm just gonna pour some here. I'm gonna probably be getting rid of these cells here, but I really like that indigo. So. I did that last week. I actually poured over after I started tilting and um, I really liked it. Keep going. There you go. That champagne is really nice too. So there's still a lot of paint on here. Ooh, that green. Ooh, ooh that green. Kind of liking that. And I'm gonna take it back up now. I always like to do colorful pours. Um, I love Sarah Taylor's work, love her work. Uh, she has more of a neutral or natural palette where she uses more earth tones but I am like a color girl. I have to do my colors there. All right, I'm just gonna let that sit and develop a bit and I might do some, probably do some enhancements. I'm really liking what's going on there right now. Let me torch it and I'll put you on time lapse. So there was no plan there whatsoever and we'll see what it brings as always oh wow it's so cool to watch this stuff to develop I just I'm amazed every time I do it I can't stop I just it's an addiction look look at this is all turning really light there I just ugh. all right all right I won't bend your ear anymore I'm gonna put you on timeline
Okay, guys. Oh, there is nothing I don't like about this piece. I'm glad I went back to the deco art. Oh. That's just, the, that's the champagne that's sparkling like that. That's the only metallic I had in here. Um, yeah, look at those cells, eh? And I like how they kind of ghost like that. They make, there's like 3D. And yeah, I'm just thrilled. I love the colors. I like the um, the shading here. I think I'm gonna start doing a lot more on these boards because they seem to, um, they don't sag at all, you know? They just hold everything a little bit better. Pretty. All right. I'm going to bed soon. I have I have a practice session tomorrow to for work. Ciao for now. Please like, share and subscribe and please be safe and create.